They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Media kits, that's a big one. That 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 is a big one because whenever whenever I, you know, put out put out on a Facebook group like, hey, I'm looking for guests, the main thing I ask is just give me as much information on who you are and your podcast as possible. Like something that's linked to your TikTok. You know, I might look at it, I might not. But you know, the more information you can provide, the better. You know, you sent me a link to an article you have featured, and you sent me to other podcasts you've been on, your website and like your LinkedIn or whatever. Perfect, because I can take like an hour, maybe a little more depending on the person, going through that information, and I literally form the podcast in my head and write it down on a spreadsheet. That's how, that's my process. So a media kit, so important, so important. Whenever you sell, so any salesman will tell you, you want to make the job as easy as possible for the customer to say yes. Questions they have, answer before they ask them. Concerns, address them before they're raised. You want to just open that path so all they can do is say yes. When you go on as a guest, I am selling myself to be on your show. Mm -hmm. Please put me on the show and here is why. So if I just say, look, I'm a really interesting guy, have me on your show. If that was my email, I have to say, all right, well, why is Mark interesting? Now I got to go Google him. Now I got to look up his profile. Now I have to see, does he sound competent when I have him on the show? Will he freeze up on camera? What are we going to talk about? And I'm asking you to do all the work. A good salesperson says, I'm going to make it as easy as possible. I'm going to do the work for you. And that's what the media kit does. It says, here's answers to all your questions, or at least as many as I can think of. And you can look at all of it, some of it, part of it, whatever is relevant to you to make your job easier. And so a good guest provides all these resources. And that can be background and links Images, I have zip files of images. When someone says, most people say, I just want a headshot, here you go, and that's in the media kit. Mm -hmm. They said, you have more images? Here you go, here's a full zip file. Take whatever you want, right? I don't, and I can make you kind of go and ask for each one. I just make it as easy as possible for the buyer, the podcast host. Well, and it's it's another thing that like that I do, that we do it on our, as part of our process, that we kind of force your hand a little bit. Like when you are a guest on this, form, a guest on this podcast, I send you a link, hey, just fill out this form, it'll give me all the information I need. So it was all there, including a headshot. You know, for the ambiguous podcast solution, I asked for a, a podcast logo because I use that logo in our graphics package. You know, I put, your little, I put a little watermark of your logo in the bottom, bottom third. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm asking for things to help me help you as well. Um, and, you know, that's a great tool. That, uh, that form, the forms we do, so lifesaver. Because it's like, okay, you want to you make it easier for me. At the same time, as a podcast host, I have to make it easier for you. And I, so many podcasts have that. I know I've got my copy paste answers because the questions are 90% the same from one podcast yeah, to next. It's right? basic information. So I've got, so I can just copy paste. I might do a little editing for this particular show versus the other. I might change my bio or I might say, here's the key angles to hit. Yep. But yeah, it, you can prepare and just make life easier for yourself, for the podcaster, for the guest. It's a processes make life easier.